So today I'm going to be working on something I've hinted at a little bit on uh, my social media account. You can follow me there. I often drop in hints about upcoming projects and events. But today I'm going to be working on making a large snake enclosure. I'm going to be renovating it out of this old black shell. It's designed to support a 55 gallon tank. We're going to be completely renovating this into a fully operational snake enclosure. And by the way, I do already have the animal that's going to be going in here. Uh, it's a pretty exciting animal. I don't think I'm going to announce it in the actual building video, uh, but I'll intro show introducing it to the new tank when the time comes. But first, we got to get all the stuff cleared out and get this tank outside to begin work. So I believe I finished all the skill saw work. Um, you can see we now have window spaces. And then some of the side beams, you can see I actually cut just like little mini rectangles out of them so that they line up with the doors. So the next thing I need to do is go get a bunch of wood, scrap wood. I'm not gonna spend any money on wood, I'm for scrap wood. Um, and start filling in the back. And there's also a hole at the top. And there's no bottom, so I need to make a bottom. The bottom's gonna be the trickiest. Um, but yeah, time to go out there and see what we can find. So the lighting right now is absolutely horrible. Um, but I've got uh, some wood loaded up in the back of my car. Hopefully this is enough. Uh, my goal is to get all this wood nailed on tonight. And then tomorrow all I need to do is spray painting and uh, figure out the window situation. But we'll see how much of that gets done tonight. And how much of what I wanted to get done tomorrow actually gets done tomorrow. So, But let's head back up there. That's about all I managed to do on day two. So it's day three. I'm getting ready to work on the uh, enclosure this morning. I covered it up last night because it was going to be raining. Just came out this morning. I'm like, oh, everything looks like it's all covered. It's great. Da 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 da. My camera sat out in the rain all night. Looks like I'm filming the rest of this project on my phone and GoPro. I think I'm just about done with the spray painting. It's looking really, really nice. I've got one extra can that's not even opened yet. So if I do feel like I need to do any more touch-ups when I get back, I'll have plenty of paint to do that. Uh, but while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and go start looking for some logs and some decoration to put inside of the enclosure. So the last thing that I did on day three was install a lighting system inside the enclosure. Rather than have a sit on top lighting system, I still wanted to be able to have access to stack tanks on top of the enclosure as opposed to just having the area filled up with lights like you would on a normal glass terrarium. So to solve my issue, I found a way to install the lights literally inside of the enclosure. My system involved a removable 2x4 block 
with a notch cut in the side, just big enough for the cord of a lamp to fit through. Once the block and lamp cord were inserted, I could lock it in by swinging down a piece of plywood hinged on a single screw, preventing any inside animal from pushing it out. So, here it is. Here is the finished enclosure. I am extremely pleased with how this came out. It looks so nice uh, with this amazing, amazing finish. It looks a lot nicer than I expected. The paint just really brought everything together, made it all look kind of really sleek and cohesive. Got this nice log on the back, great uh, bit of climbing and display, so it's kind of a dual purpose thing. The glass, despite our complications, did eventually work. And uh, as long as I'm gentle with it, I'm sure it'll hold. As far as attachments I put on the side, we've got, of course, this nice big bulky lock. This is mostly for looks, although I guess I could use it if I ever wanted to be extra secure. And then just some regular barrel bolts to open up the doors. Uh, the animal that's going to be going in here is, as I mentioned, going to be a surprise. Uh, so that'll be coming in the upcoming video. Make sure to keep your eyes out for that. Uh, pretty excited to introduce it to this new enclosure, though, because I think it tends to turn out really nice. I think uh, they're going to really enjoy it. Oh, I almost forgot the most important part. 